Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I launched a couple years ago because I made my blanket, my cousin, my cousin Amanda's blanket, I made her too, for both of her kids. With this soft yarn, it's called Loop It Yarn, you post it in the future. Hands. Wow, I couldn't figure out how to do it with my hands. So I got this big green loom at um, Michael's. And I sat there and I was just doing it. And you can walk with a loop of yarn on a loom. So how will they have? And then I, you just take your rubber hook and your after knitting and they get it over. It's not hard, but when you when you first starting at it, see how mine is messing up. What well, I can fix that at the end. It's just super easy and quick to get your blanket done. Well, I've been just making baby blankets with this yarn. I don't know how much loopy yarn you would need. If you're doing, say, four or a queen or a king size. But yeah, this is what you need. If you don't know how to work uh, with loop it yarn by your hand, you can just use it right on the loom. Example, I figured it out all by myself. All you do is you just place these loops on each egg peg. I will, will still pictures of my cousin's blanket and mine in this video. So when I when this video is over, I will pause the video and add the pictures in. And I just pull it down and like make it more secure. And next, you just keep doing what you do. So you just, oh, what I do is put the loop right on the peg and then loop it over. You can't even loop it with your hand. It's that simple. You just, can you guys see what I'm doing? All you do is just take your loop it on and you just go like this way easier I bet you guys didn't know you could use a little bit yarn on a loom I recommend to trying this if you can't do it with your hands you can do it with a loom sometimes your loops will line up sometimes it won't If you're making a baby blanket like I am right now for someone, you will need 10 balls of this yarn. It was a little big one. And then you just push these down like that. Like in, so you can have easy. And then you just get your hook or your fingers. I like to use my hook if you way easier. Always when I do looping on, always leave one peg empty, see? And that's that egg peg. Because I'm not going to put on the way in the circle. This is really simple to do. I can get this done in a day or two. Well, I only have six balls right now. I have to wait to get the other four to actually finish it. 
I made two blankets for my cousin and kids, and they absolutely love the blankets. They use it every time. It's like so soft. Just be honest. Good for babies and that because it's so soft. Every kid will love this. Or even grown adults love it. I know I still do love mine when it's cool. I just throw mine on me. Mine is pink, white, purple, and white, I think. So that's all you do. You just keep doing that, and then it will actually turn into a blanket. You just have to pull these down. That's how what I got done so far. So I hope you learned something new today. Loop it yarn on a loom. I also got this at Michael's. I will see if I can link where I link it down below. Bye guys. Happy Christmas.